I think this calls for a little history lesson. Is everybody here? All right. Odin, get ready to pull up the map. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Salutis Eversoul, and today we'll be talking about Strange Reel. Now, if you're a longtime fan of Ace Combat, you're pretty familiar with this fictional world. But if you're new to the series, this video will serve as an introduction. Strange Reel is the name of the alternate universe within which most Ace Combat games take place. Think of it as an alternate history version of our universe where something about it is drastically different. But before we talk about Strange Reel's differences, let's look over how it's similar to our own universe. And you'd be surprised how many commonalities they share. Current Ace Combat lore implies that Strange Reel has the exact same solar system that can be found in the same spot in the Milky Way. We know this because some of the constellations in our night sky are featured in the games, especially in Ace Combat X, where the Southern Cross is featured on the player's emblem. Since the solar system is the same, that means the third planet is Earth, and it too shares similarities with our Earth. Humans inhabit the planet as the dominant species, the concept of time is exactly the same as ours, and world peace seems unreachable, which is a popular theme for most Strange Rule based games. Although having general similarities, Strange Rule's Earth features entirely different land masses, countries, and historical events. Strange Reel's Earth is made up of seven continents. Anya, Perugia, Wello, Osea, South Osea, Eusea, and Antarctia. With entirely different landmasses, Strange Reel's Earth is home to over 50 unique countries, 30 of which are named. And just like how the landmasses drew inspiration from our geography, these countries are also loosely based on one or more real-life nations. Let's take the Ocean Federation as an example. Osea's government functions much like the United States of America. It's a democratic federal republic headed by a popularly elected president and vice president who assume the executive office in four-year terms. However, Osea's military branches are designated as defense forces, similar to Israel and Japan's military. But the world building does not end with the politics and military branches. With each installment, Project Aces takes the opportunity to establish a featured nation's backstory. Let's take a look at Belka, the most iconic Strange Real nation throughout the series. In Ace Combat Zero, we learn that Belka's modern day government was preceded by feudal knights and aristocratic families during the medieval era. By the early 1900s, they became an industrialized empire that rivaled the superpower Osea. But over time, Belka lost most of its territory from overexpansion, excess military spending, and as a result of that, instigating a war in 1995 that they could not win in the end. And now you see them as the Principality of Belka. As you can see, there are still tons of countries for Project Aces to explore in future games. Who knows where we will go next? Now one more thing before I end the video. I think it would be cool to show you what Strange Rail looked like in the first four games and how it developed into the world you see today. In Ace Combat 1, the game's story took place in this setting. It's a fairly generic map of a fictional unnamed country where you're tasked to help its government take back control from a group of radical insurrectionists. This would be later retconned as the Scully Islands in the remake Ace Combat Assault Horizon Legacy. Now, looking at Ace Combat 2, the story takes place in Yuzia, the very first time we get to see the continent in the series. At the time, it was implied that there was more to the Ace Combat world than just Yuzia, but the world map wasn't created at that time, nor was it developed during Ace Combat 3. It would be during Ace Combat 04, Shattered Skies development phase, where Project Aces created the first world map of Strange Rail. And I'm putting it up right now. This first iteration is very recognizable to our world's continents. Over on the left, you can tell that the landmasses are somewhat similar to Europe and Africa. Over on the right, you can see that North and South America is drastically reformed, with the exception of the Great Lakes, Greenland, and Iceland. You can also see that Anya is present, and right next to it is Yuzia. After the release of Ace Combat 04 in 2001, 
Project Aces decided to go back to the drawing board and redesign the land masses. In 2004, Ace Combat 5 was released, and it is the first game to introduce the official canonical map as its setting. From this point on, all prior games have been retconned to take place in this world. Now there may be some of you wondering why the creation of a fictional world is important for an action arcade flight game. Well, here's my answer. Strange Drill gives Project Aces more liberty for storytelling. This world is full of stories that you get to learn or experience, which is the main reason why this channel exists. To share and gain a greater appreciation for its world building, each superweapon, national conflict, and experimental aircraft doesn't exist without a reason. Project Aces always works hard to establish the backstory and make these in-game events believable. If you're brand new to the series and wish to learn more lore, you can find a playlist of Strange Real History videos on my channel. I'll leave a link down in the description. Now, if you like this video, Please intercept and destroy the like and subscribe button if you wish to see more Strange Real History videos. As always, my name is Salutis Eversoul, and I will see you in the next video. Current Ace Comblat. Comblat? <laughs> what is a Comblat?